Fox News' Dave Kinchin joining us now with what they are saying. Dave. Yeah, you know, they're still not saying a whole lot because they're still trying to piece a lot of this together. What well, we do know, this was an absolutely crazy afternoon. You can imagine you're driving home from work and all of a sudden somebody's firing a gunshot next to you as you're driving by on the highway. Traffic is stopped. There's a major police investigation and police have guns drawn in a neighborhood. They're trying to figure out what happened there. A crazy night, no doubt about it. New video of state police working a house on Lindsay Street on Detroit's west side Monday night. It's where investigators say a victim fled to with minor injuries following a shooting on the Southfield Freeway at McNichols, stopping traffic for quite some time. It makes me feel unsafe. You know, I love to walk and I can't walk with freedom anymore. State police say it began with a crash along the south field and family members of one of the crash drivers showing up to help out. Cops say a third party then drove by and started firing gunshots and they say it was not random. It's like people have lost their minds for just a little bit of cutting off. An accident is an accident, not purposefully, you know, and you gotta fear for your life because of that. Investigators towed away this pickup truck from Lindsay Street that sources say is directly connected with the Southfield Freeway shooting. While police continue to probe what happened, neighbors say it points to yet another sign of unstable times. When I first moved over here, which was 205, it wasn't that bad. But it seems like since things were coming over from the pandemic, people have gone crazy, you know, driving wild. More shootings, more break-ins, you know, um, and especially in this area has been a real big influx down eight miles. Now, police are still searching for the shooter. They have not made any arrests at this time. If you happen to see anything during this craziness that was going on on the highway, you're asked to call Michigan State Police. We're live at the Metro North Post in Oak Park. Dave Kinchin, Fox 2 News. Yeah, Dave, to clarify here, what do we know about that house where that person ended up in after the crash? Do we know the connection he may have had to that house or the people in the house? Yeah, we're not sure who exactly lives there. It appears that the state police actually on scene told us that the victim ran to that location and that police originally went there because they thought maybe a suspect was in there, but they later went back to the house just to make sure that there wasn't anyone bleeding out or injured there. That's what one of the officers on scene told me, but there's still investigating that as part of this entire case. Still a lot of questions that they're trying to sort through tonight. Yeah, a tense afternoon and evening, both on the highway and in that neighborhood. A lot to unpack here. More details hopefully forthcoming. Dave Kinchin for us live. Thank you.